Now developing this morning, questions about the death surrounding the death. The Evanston activists we told you about last week. That's right. Hundreds gathered on the north side just last night to remember Elise Mallory. She's the LGBTQ plus activist whose body was found in Lake Michigan. CBS 2's Mugo Digwe is live for us in Andersonville this Monday morning where that vigil took place. Mugo, good morning. Good morning, Chris and Andrina. So there's still some signs of yesterday's vigil out here. Just take a look at the ground right now. You can see some candles there, flowers as well. And then this message on the wall that says black trans women deserve more. And even as her friends, even as people that she knew remembered her yesterday, there's still some mystery concerning how she died. We are a tribe. We are a community. We have each other's backs. Dozens of mourners gathered outside the Women and Children First bookstore on Clark Street on Sunday. They shared memories of Mallory. The activist was 31 years old and worked with the Chicago Therapy Collective, the AIDS Foundation of Chicago, and Equality Illinois. She also served alongside the Illinois Attorney General in the Civil Rights Bureau. Now, Mallory first went missing on March 9th. Then on Saturday, police confirmed the body along Lake Michigan was hers. The official cause of death is still under investigation right now, but police had said that they do not suspect any foul play in her death. But again, this is still under investigation, so we'll let you know if anything new comes out of all of this. We're live in Andersonville, the Gold Deagway, CBS 2 News.